We'll never forget Agent Mira Malik from the first season. On the task force, Sia's mom didn't have an easy time, and then she was killed by an unknown assassin in the last episode of season one. Her daughter's new job with the FBI suggests that Mira's storyline will return in season 10. In this video, we'll discuss how the Blacklist could have the return of a major villain and some season 10 theories. First off, remember Agent Mira Malik from the first season? In season one, Mira had to kill seven people in the line of duty. If she'd lived, kept working for the task force, and kept killing at about the same rate as before, then only Raymond Reddington would be slightly more dangerous than Mira on the show. Mira and Red are neck and neck when it comes to killing, and no one else even comes close. But Mira was a disgruntled field agent on sabbatical who was put in a similar role in an agency that wasn't connected to any other CIA agents. This made her expendable in the eyes of those in power. She also had some hard days when she worked with the task force. After her time with Brimley and Red, when she returned to the post office, she tells Director Cooper that she was held because her sick child was in the hospital. He tells her, in no uncertain terms, that the job comes first, second, and third. While Cooper's working, Mira steals his security badge and uses it to get into a restricted server so she can tell Reddington who the real mole is. Reddington's finally satisfied when he sees the mole's signature on page 6 of the secret documents. Mira was killed by an unknown assassin in the last episode of season 1, and Sia Malik might go looking for answers. Up next, are they revisiting Elizabeth Keene's gravesite? Many of us worry that the cast will revisit Elizabeth Keene's grave when they go to holy burial grounds. In season 9, we went through a lot. Occasionally, everyone gathers to do this. Liz's friends and co-workers, including FBI Director Harold Cooper and agents Donald Ressler, Aram Majatabe, and Alina Park, all go to Liz's grave to mourn. Denby Zuma, who used to be Red's right-hand man and is now an FBI agent, also stood to watch. She spoke at length and eloquently about the unique way Red, Liz, and Angus Keen all laugh. Denby gives the best proof so far that Red and the female Keens have traits in common that come from their family. Denby should know more than anyone else. He is, after all, Red's best friend and third favorite person, after Liz, who might have been his daughter but is now dead, and Agnes, who's his granddaughter in all but name. Followed by, why does it make sense for Sia to return? John Eisendrath, in charge of the Blacklist, told us in May that the end of Season 9 was the end of Liz Keen's story. So it makes sense that Agent Sia Malik, the new member of the team, and her co-workers might go to the grave of her mother, Mira Malik. Why? Because she used to be their sister in arms. If that's the case, the 10th season will start with a long, dead character returning to life because of trauma and problems between offices. That's not all, though. There are also the memories carried by a daughter who's determined enough to work her way into the dangerous blacklist business of Raymond Reddington's FBI task force. Sia Malik will want to know who killed her mother, and who gave the order to kill, and why. Maybe she will bond with Red because they both want to get even. Moving on to how Sia could help the task force. If Sia is as dangerous as her mother and as laser-focused as Red, her joining the task force will help them deal with Wu Jing, a blacklister from season 1 who wants to destroy the concierge of crime. We last saw Wu Jing when he got a secret note from Marvin Gerard, Red's lawyer, 30-year first mate, and attempted usurper. This notes Marvin's last act of revenge against Red at the end of season 9. It lists every name on the blacklist, which lists all the criminals that Red and the FBI have caught, jailed, or killed. It's a long list, with just a few dozen names short of 200. It's a veritable cavalry of criminals, and Red's worst of the worst wish list also affects many other people. One of the names on that list likely is who killed Mira. Mira Malik, whose father was a deadly agent, is the only person who can help Red deal with the many enemies he will face in Season 10. Now let's look at some interesting Season 10 updates and theories. With the next season all set to return early next year, here's what we know so far about what we can expect from the plot. With a new enemy coming after Red and two agents leaving the task force, everyone's looking forward to Season 10 of The Blacklist. After what happened in Season 9, Wu Jing wants to get even. With the list of other blacklisters at his disposal, Wu Jing will probably try to take Red down by recruiting other criminals he's helped the FBI catch. This means that Red, who's helped catch criminals in the past seasons, will now know what it's like to be the one being hunted. C is expected to join the task force, which is getting smaller, and she may try to find out what happened to Mira in season 1. Not to mention, could Red be unaware of his true identity? The plot isn't the only thing on our minds, though. We've also 
also got some wild fan theories on the internet. A major mystery was solved in Season 9, and we can't wait for the show to come back to learn more about Red. But since Red's real name has yet to be discovered, some people think he might not know what it is. Many have wondered who Red is throughout the series, and how he's related to Liz. It turned out that Katrina Rostover and Ilya Koslov had made up Red's identity to keep an eye on Liz, but they didn't say why. After many fan theories, one viewer wrote, maybe Red doesn't even know who he is. They suggested that he might have been brainwashed by Katrina in 1990 and given face surgery and that he only plays his role habitually. That's why some people think he was brainwashed into loving Liz and can't remember who he is. Let's learn more. Panna Baker possibly taking over as task force leader. After two major characters left, we predicted that Cynthia Panna Baker could return to task force and play a big part. When the season 9 finale aired in May, it was the last time we saw two of our favorite characters. This made many of us cry. Agent Alina Park, having strange headaches, decided to leave the field when she found out she was pregnant. When he and his co-workers went to see Liz Keen's grave, Aram Mojtabi said he would take some time off. We were distraught because Aram had been the strategic and tactical technician for the task force since the first episode. Some people were sure that season 10 would have new characters, while others were looking forward to Panna Baker's return. Reddit users discussed the possibility of Panna Baker at least being an interim leader until a long-term one's chosen. Coming up, why is this link a good thing for Marvel? As we get ready for season 10 of The Blacklist, at least we know what'll happen. In the future, many criminals from the past will return to get back at Red. At this point, they all know that he was the criminal informant who gave them up to the task force, so James Spader's character's definitely in trouble. Even so, there are still some important things to think about in this situation. Consider, for example, if there will be a figurative ringmaster who will lead the way. Who should or can be feared the most right now? We know that it'll be easy to think that Wu Jing's the new main enemy because Marvin gave the list to him at the end of the last episode. So far, we're not ready to say that. Even though the character will be in charge of getting the word out, he might want to avoid being in charge. Someone else might know how to get there. Finally, is Red Liz's uncle? After Liz's shocking death at the end of season 8, the task force spent most of season 9 trying to figure out who killed her. We discovered that Marvin killed Liz to get her out of the way and move himself to the front of the line. Line, so she wouldn't inherit Red's empire. But when Red discovers the lie, he lets Marvin shoot himself in the car. Now that Liz's death has been explained, we want the show to return to the central mystery, who Red is. We've been curious about his real name since it was revealed that he took on the name he has now because the real Red Reddington died years ago. Many of us thought he was Liz's father because of how close they were. But others thought Red was her mother, Katrina Rostova. And on that note, that's a wrap for this video. What do you think of C? looking into her mother's death. Do you think that Wu Jing will lead the hunt for Red? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.